What's up guys and welcome to Intero. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the what you don't see coming for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get it. Some of you guys could have Pisces in your chart or you could be dealing with one. Sagittarius. What's up Saggy? Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing so well today. So I want you to do what you don't see coming. I'm going to two different sides to get two different perspectives. Sometimes it's two different things. Okay, so I'm being called to use this deck. And this is like low-key a love deck. So, but I will generalize it. Okay. So let's begin. Sagittarius. <clears throat> you have understanding and letting go okay happy couples understand each other letting go is sometimes necessary okay so I feel like what you don't see coming is that you're gonna have to let go of something or someone all right um <clears throat> I feel like the universe is kind of telling you, like, you know, you're not really happy here because I feel like they're, I feel like you guys don't understand each other or you and whatever this is that it's time for you to let go of. It's like your morals and your values are different than whatever this is. Okay. Affection. Showing affection creates a loving bond. All right. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're not really, um, nurturing the situation as much as you could you know because i feel like you know that it's about to well, you know you're about to have to release whatever this is what's understanding letting go and affection but i feel like you're you're ready though to let this go you have the hermit in reverse the nine of pentacles the wheel of fortune the judgment the eight of wands the six of swords and the eight of cups yeah, I feel like you have a, your emotions have already left the building, um, which is why you're not showing it as much as affection as you used to. Um, I feel like this is going to happen very quickly here. I feel like you are going to become independent. Um, some of you guys, this could be like a business entrepreneur energy um, as well, but it doesn't have to be. But I do feel like you're going to become independent from something. Okay, the hermit is in reverse. I feel like this energy is now holding themselves accountable for nothing. Okay, the wheel of fortune here. It was fated and destined for this to happen. For you to make this very important decision and move away from this okay um bottom of the deck is the king of pentacles yeah a lot of you guys are your finances your stability is about to come the freak up when you do this for real um let me clarify something what is the hermit in reverse Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Lovers, and the King of Wands in reverse. Um, yeah, this person or this energy played too many games. Way too many games. And I feel like they liked it. You know? They didn't they didn't have good intentions. Look at that. The Five of Wands, the King of Cups, and the King of Swords. Yeah, but I feel like this was you. I feel like you kept the truth and your integrity the whole way through. You know? Because I feel like you knew that that was the way to pass this get over to the other side you know um you're like all right well if i have to be here then we're gonna be here with the truth or with honesty with integrity you know um and i feel like that you know people didn't like that you know but what's better than the truth i'm confused right the knight of sword yeah that's why you out of there <laughs> okay you out because like that doesn't even make sense like what are you even talking about what are you even talking about so um oh i have to charge my camera so um yeah i feel like yeah bye toodaloo toodaloo all right so now let's come over here
You have the star and the two of swords, okay? Aquarius energy over here. Um, bottom of the deck is the ten of swords, okay? So this is the same thing as this. Um, that's what it feels like. I feel like... Um, I feel like you're a little, I feel like you're going to have two choices and you're not going to know which one to choose, okay? Um, I feel like with the star here, one is your wish for real. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, is it really, do you really not know what to do or, because one is your wish, the ten of swords, and, and the other one I feel like is backstabbing you. Or abandon you the other one is just it's just not cool all right let's clarify what is the star the two of swords here for what Sagittarius doesn't see coming You have the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Five of Swords in reverse, the Empress, and the Judgment. Woo, you got the Judgment twice. And the Nine of Wands in reverse, okay? So, I feel like, you know, I'm not even, like, you, you, you it's a no-brainer, Sag, for real. It's a no-brainer. You're like, okay, well, and I feel like the thing is that when this opportunity comes in, it's, you have the Empress of Judgment, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Five of Swords in reverse. I feel like you know it's going to be for you. Like, like, from jump. You know, like, yeah, that, oh yeah, that's mine. That's mine, thank you. Like, I, I, I feel like you're not even going to have to think about it. The Five of Swords is in reverse. Like, it's like you're so sure. You know, the Queen of Cups is in reverse here because I feel like, I feel like the universe had to get you to the point of where you, there's no emotional tie to this other thing so that when this comes in you you don't even think twice right because maybe if this would have came in if you were still kind of emotionally attached to whatever it is that the universe wants you to let this go um you know maybe you would have made a different choice you would have reacted different right because so the, the universe works in mysterious ways you know what i'm saying but it's like at the end of the day everything always works out so you know, you have judgment again. You got judgment three times. Let me show you. Let me tell you what this card says. Judgment, rebirth, awakening, resurrection, inner calling, transformation. Oh, this is a big change in your life, okay? After you make this decision, after you um, make this choice, your life is, a, is about to be amazing, bro. Look at this. Look at the judgment in three different decks. This, this was a really easy reading, Sag. I appreciate the clarity. <laughs> um, I, I feel it's a confirmation for a lot of you guys. Like, it's coming. If it's not in your space already, it's coming. If you made the choice already, you made a good choice. If you're debating on letting this go, let it go. Because it's coming. And I feel like for a lot of you, if you're waiting on it, just make sure that you're emotionally detaching yourself from it. But I feel like y'all already there to be... I feel like you guys... This is very good, Sagittarius. Very, very good energy. All right? I know this is short. Let's get you some advice. You're, it's just, it was so, it was just so easy. It's just, you know, it was very clear. And I feel like it's because you guys are very clear, you know, which is very good. You have the second chakra in reverse, journey in reverse, and the temple path in reverse with cornucopia in reverse. Yeah, I feel like the path that you thought was going to be your wish and you were going to get everything is not the path, okay? You have contract here as well. So I feel the universe is like, then this next thing is going to stay in your life for a very long time, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. I feel like a journey is being cut short because second chakra here, I feel like your sense of stability, your sense of security within yourself, um was definitely being um disrupted way too much you know it's time to let go of this person or this thing because i feel like you have an opportunity coming okay all right sagittarius all that i have for you i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive